Let's go eat some sweets. You are noisy walking around. Ouch. My name is Masataka Misaki. I am a second year high school student. The girl who has thrown the book at me is Sayuri Kadosaka. We are the same age and longtime friends. We live next door and have known each other since kindergarten. Don't you feel sorry for the book throwing it away? It's all right. This is a custom-made book to throw at you. You have strong murderous intent. Hmm. Sayuri has always been cool and cold in word and deed. She is called the Ice Queen, the Ice Snow Empress, or the Blizzard Queen at school. When Sayuri finds out that she is called by such cool nicknames... Don't say that name in front of me because it's embarrassing! She said so. Why? Such a cool nickname. Well, whatever. Sayuri! Yes, this is Sayuri. Let's go eat some sweets! Why should I go eat sweets with you? I'm begging you! It's hard for men to go to such a restaurant alone! Then why don't you just be a woman? I didn't think of that method. I'm kidding, of course. Are you an idiot? Hey, please. You like sweets, don't you? That was... <clears throat> when Sayuri was in junior high school, I was too edgy and once asked her. Sayuri, why do you like sweets? Because the world is not sweet to me. Food can be at least. Aha! I thought for sure it would become dark history later on at that moment. I just sense a very unpleasant feeling. That must be your imagination. It was like a longtime friend of mine dug up my old dark history and passed it on to the internet. Esper? Has she found out that I'm making a cartoon of my longtime friend's dark history and uploading it to YouTube? Uh, anyway, please, let's go to eat sweets together. Huh, oh well, let's go quickly. Are you fine with our usual place? Uh... What are you doing? Oh, nothing. She is doing it like a pain in the ass, but she never turns down my request. I have asked her to go out for sweets several times, and she has never refused, even once. Even other than that, do you want to go to karaoke? Well, okay. Bowling. Fine, I'll go with you. <sighs> that new movie? Oh, well, I'll go watch it with you. And so, she went to watch the movie with me, even though I didn't say anything in the end. She is cold in her words and deeds, but maybe she likes me more than I think. You sense a very unpleasant feeling just now. <clears throat> Specifically, it was like you were imagining something good for you like, maybe she likes me. It was that kind of unpleasant feeling. As per. But she is right. This is just a convenient imagination for myself. I don't know how she feels, but more of that, I like her. I... I like Sayuri. So I'm just making an excuse to hang out together like this. Welcome! You like this place, don't you? Well, it's my favorite place. You like sweets here too, right? I won't deny it. Here you go. Thanks! <laughs> Sayuri, do you want to order something? No, I'm good. I'm on a diet. What? Then why did you come? You could have said no. I didn't have any reason to refuse. But I feel terrible to eat in front of you while you are on a diet. Stop eating it and showing it off to me even though you said that. I want to eat. You should eat it. You. <laughs> Excuse me. One jumbo silvedo parfait, please. She succumbed to the temptation. Diet and all that sh**. Why do we have to endure something so delicious in front of us? This is how people gain weight. Sweets. You are horrible. So Yuri seems to be cold, but she's actually always up for anything. I don't know. What does she think of me? I wonder if I should ask. But I don't have the courage to go that far now. After finishing our sweets, the waitress stopped us when we were about to leave. I heard that the pastry store over there is offering a couple's discount. Why don't you two go there? <sighs> Oh? Mm. Well, what's wrong? We're not a couple. Oh. Uh. Well, what? You two were always together, so I thought you guys were a couple. No, we're not. Oh, really? But you like her, don't you? What? How did you know that? I mean, it's obvious. No way. It's not funny. That's not nice. 
Anyway, I think it's a good opportunity for you to get to know each other better, don't you think? Well, I like her, of course. But we're kind of keeping some distance from each other. Hmm? Well, something happened in the past. Hmm. Misaki-kun, come here. What? Tell me the details. I'll buy you a cup of tea. Uh, Here's some tea and a cake. Those are the cheapest ones. I didn't expect you to complain about that. If you're going to buy me some anyway, I wanted the most expensive ones. I don't have that kind of money because I'm just a part-timer. So, I want to hear your story. It was a long time ago. When we were in elementary school, Sayuri and I were very close friends. Even though we were very young, we started to see each other as the opposite sex. And we probably had feelings for each other. If things had gone as they were, either one of us would have confessed the feelings to the other, and we would have started dating. But then... People around us started to make fun of us. Well, Sayuri was very popular among boys at the time. And I was always on her side, so I had attention. So, it was inevitable that I would be made fun of like that. At that time, Sayuri and I were... I don't like you. I don't like you either. We strongly denied the relationship not to be made fun of by them. Then, I wonder... Sayuri-chan, will you go home with me? Uh... Masataka, let's play soccer! <laughs> Okay. The relationship between me and Sayuri became somewhat strained, and we became somewhat estranged. What? You've become estranged? But now you're coming to eat sweets together, right? When I was in junior high school, I happened to run into Sayuri at this store. And that's when we started hanging out together again. Oh, okay. Sayuri always liked sweets. I used to go out with Sayuri and eat sweets a lot. So when I saw this store, I felt nostalgic. So I went in. That's fateful. Well, then we got back together like before. However, we had a strained relationship once and got estranged. So I thought it would be better to keep it like this than to have that happen again. So you like each other, but you can't seem to make progress, right? Yes. <laughs> oh? Mm. Fine. While I was listening to your story, I was bored. Your story was very ordinary and uninteresting. You're terrible. No, I'm not terrible. I'm not. I've been completely told. That's so foolish to keep the situation as it is. That's not enough. Keeping the situation as it is means you have something to lose but nothing to gain. Something to lose? Time, youth, and so on. There are many things that can only be done now. But the more time passes, the less we can do. And what we have now will fade away as time passes. There aren't many friends from elementary school that you still keep in touch with today, are there? That's... well... I have only about 10 people. What? That's quite a lot. Is that so? Well, anyway, it's just like that. Even with her, even if you don't have the same opportunity as when you were in elementary school, you will eventually get as strange as time goes by. Are you okay with that? <coughs> when you become an adult, you will have less time to see her because of work. If you don't see each other, it will be easier for your feelings to go away. So, no matter how scary it is, you can't just keep the situation, okay? I understand. I'm going to try my best. Good. Thank you for your advice. Why? You are a regular customer, you know. Besides, as the person who has been watching the two of you for some time now, it pains me to see you two not moving forward. Well, I'm just overstepping a little. Like an old woman's mind? Huh? Who said old woman? Uh, I'm still a college student. Huh. Do I look old to you, huh? I didn't mean that you look like an old woman. Next time you say that, you'll go down. Uh. So, I made up my mind to proceed with a relationship with Sayuri. Let's go eat some sweets! Huh, you're still a noisy person. Today is the day of the discount for couples. The discount for couples? I don't have enough money right now. I want to use that discount. So, will you come with me? You and I aren't dating. Why don't you just pretend we are? 
Do you really want to use that discount so badly? That's not all. You can eat sweets that are only available for couples. Limited sweets? How does it sound to you? Do you want to try it? No, I'm on a diet. Are you still on it? So you'll have to ask someone else. Damn, she's quite tough today. Normally, she would go with me even though she had a lot to say about it. But I've already decided to make it progress. I'm not giving up. I'm going to use the couple's discount to make you aware of me all over again today. Here. What is it? This is the limited suite. What do you think? The store of the discount? I don't have a choice. Let's go. She succumbed to the temptation. If we don't hurry, the limited sweets will run out. This is how people gain weight. This is how we came to the store offering a discount to couples. Welcome! She is working part-time here too. Well then, please do what couples do. She knows what she's doing. Well, maybe we could hold hands. Oh? Hmm. What? Oh my god! What are you doing? Huh? Because she told us to do something couples do. Wait, it doesn't have to be a kiss. What? Oh, no, no, it has to be a kiss. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Look, new customers came in. You can take a look. <sighs> Welcome. We are here as a couple. You have a discount today, right? Yes, please do something couples do. What? Something couples do. A kiss, maybe? Well, here. <laughs> I'm flattered. Let me escort you two. Ugh. They were really kissing. Right? <laughs> well, if you insist, you can just give him a kiss on his cheek. Mwah. What? Then let's go. Yes. But why can you do that on the contrary? Ha. Huh. We used to give a kiss other than lips all the time when we were kids. Well, we did that without knowing what we were doing back then. So it's embarrassing now, to be honest. Sayuri is cool, so she would be able to do that without effort. Uh... Oh, Sayuri, you are blushing. It's just your imagination. Is it? Thinking of which, she was trying to kiss me earlier. I mean, that means she doesn't mind kissing me, right? Hmm. <laughs> Awkward. What's awkward is that there are couples all around us, and we can hear them making out in all directions. I guess it's only natural since they are offering a discount for couples. What should we order? Well, let's see. This one is highly recommended. Well then, I'll take that one. Sure thing. Uh, huh? What's wrong? Nothing. You are somewhat friendly with that waitress, aren't you? What? Uh... Well, is it possible that she is jealous of me or something? Hmm. Um, I can feel the vibrations coming from you. And I'm vibrating really hard, so please stop. Oh, I'm sorry. She's jealous after all. Here you go. Here are the couple's only sweets and juice. Whoa, it's the heart-shaped straws you often see in cartoons. I've never seen a real one before. Let's eat quickly. Okay. The couple's only sweets here are only available to couples who feed each other. Otherwise, you can't eat it. What? what? Hmm. And so, Sayuri and I shyly finished off the sweets and juice. To be honest, I couldn't feel the taste. <laughs> what on earth should I make you two do this time? <laughs> hey. Oh, manager. Don't step into their love life. What are you talking about? I'm not interfering. I'm helping them. You are interfering, aren't you? Well, adults are supposed to just watch them from afar. What? I want to watch them? Hmm? I think I just heard the waitress's scream. Or was it my imagination? Uh. <sighs> Finally, the embarrassing time is over. But this is not the end. Sayuri so must be a little more aware of me now. If I want to change the relationship, I should say it here and now. I don't want to just settle for this situation and get estranged again. Sayuri. You... What? Because you worked so hard. Now it's my turn. What? 
I like you, Masataka-kun. What? I did not expect her to confess her feelings for me. I knew that we both probably had feelings for each other, but I wasn't so sure. I knew that you asked me out here today to make our relationship progress. What? I am an esper. Are you an esper? No wonder why you know what I'm thinking. Well, it's a lie. Why did you lie like that? You get so angry. Then, how did you know what I was thinking all this time? You tend to show it on your face. When you are thinking about something convenient for you, you are smirking. When you are thinking about your longtime friend's dark history, you look like an emoticon. It's not like that to mean one tends to show emotion on their face. But I digress. We had once got estranged before. I don't know about you, but it was very traumatizing for me. <laughs> That's the same for me. I like you. So I thought I was fine with keeping our relationship as it was if I'd had to be awkward like that with you again. Sayuri. But you chose to move forward. Then I thought that I couldn't just wait for you. So I got a little pumped up and kissed you earlier. Well... So that's what that was about. You always do things before I do. You always do first what I am afraid to do. That's why I can follow you comfortably, and I like you because you are like that. Is that so? I wasn't aware of that. For example, you used to jump off swings, trees, and cliffs. We used to do that a lot. I used to do nothing but jump off things. I guess I only played dangerous games. Whenever we did something wrong and went to apologize, you were always the first to do it. Well, I was the one who made you do something to get in trouble in the first place. And after we got estranged, you were the one to talk to me first at the store I happened to walk into. If you hadn't talked to me then, I wouldn't have talked to you myself. Then we would not be together like this now. I see. It's thanks to you that we were able to make up. All of this because you did it first. So, now it's my turn. If you say you'll move forward with me, I'll do my best. Thank you, Sayuri. You don't have to thank me because I like you. I like you too, Sayuri. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> Wonderful! Don't get in their way. Uh, just a bit more! <sighs> and so, we ended up starting dating. Extra. Sayuri. Guess what I'm thinking right now? You're not thinking about anything. You're right! Does that mean my face is showing it even when I'm not thinking anything? Yes. What kind of face am I making? A stupid face like a banana. Why do I always make a funny face? Our teacher also came to ask me why you always make a funny face when he was telling you off. I wondered why it took so long only for me when our teacher told me off. That was because I was making funny faces. 